G'day guys, I'm Matt and this is Taste the Beer. It's certainly gotten a lot colder out there lately and the breweries are starting to take note and release their seasonal brews. So, let's check one out. Here we've got the Montice Autumn Ale from New Zealand just across the ditch there. Let's see what they've got to say about themselves. A medium bodied ale with caramel and lightly roasted malt flavours. Sounds delish. Late edition of New Harvest Hops. Those hops are... Green Bullet for Bitterness and Mataweka Hops for Floral Autumn Aroma. Let's check it out. Really large bubbles in the pour there. And almost no bubbles left in the glass. This is a very low on carbonation beer. Also it calls itself an amber ale but it's actually a reddy gold colour. It's not very amber at all, very much more a golden ale. Alrighty guys, let's give it a sniff. Really sweet on the nose there. Mm. It's actually a very sweet beer. I'm really picking up what they're talking about with the caramel and roasted malt flavours. It's, it's very sweet. If you're, if you're not enjoying dry beers, it's definitely one for you. I'm not sure I'm enjoying this. It's almost leaving a, a cloying sweetness on my palate that, that I'm not quite enjoying myself. Um, but let's give it let's give it another try but with a full full flavoured full mouth gulp. Mmm okay much better much better gulping this beer this beer improves much better by filling your mouth with it. The first sip I didn't even pick up on the hops they're talking about and there are some good hops in this beer. But by filling my mouth with that beer, the bitterness starts to drive through and you start to pick up on that. The green bullet hops make an appearance and they're there. They are bitter. It's exactly what they're talking about on the label. Very nice. And then right at the end, right before you forget about it entirely, the Mataweka hops put, their, put, put up their hand and say, I'm here too. And you just get a hint of that floral flavor, which helps keep the beer quite balanced overall, which is quite nice. Um, I'm actually going to recommend this. First ever for Taste the Beer as a session beer, because it's right in there at that 4.6% alcohol, so right on that session note, and the fact that it just improves for me personally so much better by the mouthful, if you find this on the tap at your local brew house, go in there and order it by the pint, I think you'll really like it as you sit on this beer for the evening. Um, food wise, I think this would be very well paired with your typical pub burger. It's going to complement that quite nicely. The bitterness of that hops is going to go really well with the red meat flavour there and the Mataweka floraliness coming through at the end is going to really help round out that flavour. It's going to complement it perfectly. If you're a fan of dry beers, this is not going to be one for you because it's got that strong malt base. It is consistent throughout the beer, sipping and gulping. But hey, Lot, plenty of people don't like dry beers. If sweeter beers are your thing, if you think your typical dry lager is not for you, this one's definitely going to be. Okay, so check it out. It's $18.99 by the six pack. We're going to give it a 70. Great session beer. Pair it with a pub burger. You won't be disappointed. All right, guys, Matt from Taste the Beer. Like, subscribe, comment, and check out the next one tomorrow.